Hello everyone, this is my first Minecraft video. Hopefully you'll like it. This is a creation I'm somewhat proud of, but it's not exactly a clock, as you might be led to believe by that. This is... um... Well, I push a button. Push the button. And voila! Numbers. It'll count from 0 to 9 on both screens um, endlessly. And, but if you push the button again, it will count all the way back up to 9 and then it will stop. And I don't want to press it again yet because it will totally screw everything up. I think that screen looks better even though it is smaller. Alright, now it's done. Press it again for the sake of the next part. And this is the wiring. It's totally convoluted up here, but over here it's a little more elegant. As you can see, there's a nice little pyramid shape there, and, well, yeah. Triangle prism, triangular prism. And... This is my starting and stopping mechanism. This right here in the back runs up it, and that's just the timing. This brings the timing back down to it. And every single different layer is a number between 0 and 9. So, essentially, as you can see here, this power goes into nothing, so I just have the thing there, but when it goes into a block it'll invert it and that'll send the signal and uh, that's the way it goes with every single one, it'll send the signal based off of which one it's on it'll either go into another repeater or it'll go into an inverter and that's just because it'll screw up once it hits the bottom there and the way this works is once it gets to the end here It'll invert, and then go down to this, and then invert again, and invert again, and invert again, all the way down to the bottom, where it'll hit either that or this string of redstone. And, uh, that's only separated like that because it won't, won't go more than 15 blocks, so I needed the little repeater. And, uh, in order to get the timing s the same on the two that go into the second spot, you can see it has, a uh, second repeater here and this one just has a repeater because normally the inverters don't as you can see and yeah so it all just goes into this flat area and each one of these is a different uh, different part of the digit this is the top center left uh, top left top right the center bottom left bottom right and very bottom and I'll go ahead and show you that to you here. See, uh, that's the... Yeah. That's the... Well, from the front is the bottom left, from the back is the bottom right, but... The way I set it up was so that, uh... This was the bottom left from the... or no, this is the top left from the front. So, follow it up. It goes right here. Oh, I'm just stupid. Alright, so that one's actually the top right from the front. As you might guess, I had a few problems getting the numbers flipped, but worked them all out. And this is just because I wanted to make a bigger screen. Once I realized this one was kind of dinky and wasn't very clear. And this is the mechanism for that. I like it. Um... I guess I'll just show you this real quick. Um, the way this works is uh, when you press the button, it'll go through this and it'll sing out a single tick pulse, which moves this piston, which, uh, if you don't know already, a sticky piston, if something is out, it'll bring it in. If something is in, it'll push it out. But with only one tick pulse, it'll only do one or the other, and it'll always wind up in this position. So essentially, this uh, is a circuit breaker. The redstone will go into it, and that's how it keeps looping. And this is right after the number 9, which...
which is why it'll count up to nine once I push the button again and then stop. And this is uh, all just to make the pulse longer. It takes the one tick pulse and turns it into, uh, I don't know, however long this is, which is, uh, I believe, nine pulses. And that's because every time it goes up, it goes through eight pulses. And having it on nine means that the numbers will uh, swap instead of having a little pause in between. Swaps from five to six, six to seven directly instead of them all going back and then coming back out. Um, I think I've explained enough of this, so uh, smell you later, peeps.